This is JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this short video, we're going we're gonna to show you how to install an MVMe drive into a Dell Precision T5810 workstation. Now, the T5810 does not have an MVME slot on the motherboard, um, so we do need to have an adapter with this card to actually install it into one of the I.O. slots. Um, so the model that we're going to, going to install is a Western Digital it's a 512 gig NVMe drive. You can see the model number on the screen. Also, we're using a StarTech adapter, uh, and you can see that model number on the screen as well, just in case you want to um, copy our install. Uh, one important thing to note is, yes, this can be used as a bootable device on the Precision T5810. This is not true for all systems, but in this case, it is true. So you can install, you know, Windows right to this drive and 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 use it. Um, so there's our NVMe drive. Um, here's our StarTech adapter. You can see um, on the left side there, there is a uh, there's a screw that we have already installed that will pop out to lock the NVMe drive into place. That particular screw did not come with this Western Digital drive, so we did have to supply that separately. So just be aware of that. Um, typically, when you buy Intel or Samsung NVMe drives, they do include the screw. So we did have to add that. So be aware of that. You know, maybe buy a few extra on like Amazon or something. Keep them as spares because they are nice to have if you're ever installing NVMe drives, whether onto a motherboard or onto an adapter like this. Okay, um, so we've got our NVMe drive installed into our PCI adapter. Um, now we just need to install it into the actual system. Again, this is a Precision T5810. We're going to choose to install it above the graphics card uh, because it really doesn't produce much heat, but we want to leave the slots below the graphics card open because um, that's where they have the fans that will kick on just in case they need uh, some extra cooling. So we'll just line that up. We've got it lined up. Once it's lined up, we can push it right into the slot and it should go in there with ease. So um, it's kind of blurry here, but it's been a tight squeeze, but we've got it installed. We will uh, clip our blue retention clip back on and basically uh, the card's installed. So at, at that point, I mean, you just need to go in and if you're going to use it as a bootable de device, um, get your whatever media you're going to use, install your operating system right to the NVMe drive, and it works just like a regular hard drive. It's just way faster. Um, if, you'd, if you'd like to find additional content um, about upgrades, uh, please visit greenpcgamers.com. Um, please subscribe to this page. Uh, if you want to ask live questions, um, you can see uh, my, my Twitch handle here. You can come on, and while in the middle of gaming, we can uh, answer some hardware questions. I'm going to bring you quick to precision to the Precision T5810 page on GreenPCGamers.com. If you want other upgrade ideas, we also do videos on those. But if you just want to see some content, um, go to GreenPCGamers.com. We did a blog on the Precision T5810 upgrades for gaming and other fun. We go through processors, memory upgrades, um, NVMe drives, graphics cards, um, sample configurations, all the good stuff. If we haven't covered the topic that you would like to see, um, make sure you can go ahead and su suggest a topic. If you like free giveaways, please uh, subscribe to the page. It's completely free and equal offer for giveaways. Uh, thanks again for watching.